Hey, what up YouTube? It's great to be riding here. And today, I'm going to do my very first moto vlog. Uh, I'm not going to get all philosophical and talk about life's big issues, but I am going to talk about um, my motorcycle situation. Uh, currently, I own the Speech of Bilal, which I'm riding at the moment and a Tiger 800 XC which unfortunately I crashed about five weeks ago and um, it's quite possible that uh, that motorcycle will be getting written off so unfortunately I've, I've got a bit of a history with crashing um, I've already high-sided twice on the tarmac on my Tiger XC this year um, resulting in uh, shoulder injuries uh, luckily I didn't break a clavicle but I, um, I had a separation of the OC joint from the clavicle um, which put me out of action for a couple of weeks of bike riding anyway and I was off work for uh, Oh, about eight weeks with that injury, which was quite annoying. Um, but I've, I've crashed my adventure bike quite a bit, so I've taken the tough decision to, um, regardless of whether it gets written off or whether it gets fixed, I'm going to sell me Tiger. Um, which wasn't that tough a decision in the end. Uh, mainly because I can't get insurance anymore. So Protector Insurance, my very good insurance company, uh, they will no longer insure me because I've had five claims in less than two years. So that's hardly surprising really, isn't it? <laughs> um, so that essentially means I can't get motorbike insurance for, for the next five years, which ultimately means that I need to change my behaviour. I guess I take quite a few risks um, and push the envelope a bit too much at times and make mistakes. Uh, I've been lucky enough to walk away from all of them um, but I think it's about time I paid attention to um, what those messages are meaning. Uh, that and the fact that I'm sitting on 75 demerit points at the moment um, 20 demerits drop off next March but I'm, I'm walking a bit of a fine line at the moment so um, yeah I'm down to just road riding which um, I really enjoy my road riding I do enjoy my adventure bike riding and the bunch of guys that I ride with as well they're good, all good guys but uh, I guess what I'll do is I won't be buying any new bikes for a couple of years at least and um, what I might do in 8 to 12 months time is buy a dirty old second hand um, DR650 and uh, I won't mind too much if I drop that one every now and again so yeah give me some feedback thanks for watching uh, and I'll talk to you soon